Ko'olo, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rechak, Kodash, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, Lab, Aquarium, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Bashim, which means in the name of, Yahweh, Shai is the name of the only begotten Son, who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins, Bashim, Rechak, Kodash, which means in the name of uh, Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, the Spirit of Truth, okay, and uh, I just want to do this lesson, um, Many reasons why I wanted to speak on this topic uh, in particular. Yeah, many reasons why I want to speak on this topic. You know, uh, the main thing is uh, uh, the scriptures tell you what to order your steps are right. Let me get that scripture first, you know, um, because brothers have to get in their mind that, um, yeah, you know, we're supposed to do our videos. Doing the videos is very healthy. It's very uh, attributing to our salvation, you know. And uh, that is one of the uh, main things that's going to get this word out, you know. But we are, uh, we do have a body. We have brothers that are next to us. You know, we have brothers that are, um, you know, that need to be tended to, man. The scriptures tell you, man, about uh, tending to the flock, you know. In, uh, in all reality, we're pastors, okay? And a uh, pastor, the word pastor go, go, comes from the word pastures, which is a person that's supposed to, yeah, a person that's supposed to tend to the flock, okay? So in tending to the flock, you're supposed to tend to the men that are next to you, man. You know? And there's all kinds of scriptures on it, man. But see, the thing is, you have an illusion out there of certain individuals that believe that, oh, because they do their videos or they go out on the highways and the hedges that the Lord is dealing with them. Or that uh, that uh, the Most High is pleased with uh, his works. Okay? Hey, remember the scriptures tell you that in that day, they're going to be saying, they're going to say, Lord, Lord, have we not cast out devils in, in your name? He's And, and Yahweh Shah is going to say what? Uh, get away from me. I never knew thee. Why? Because essentially you didn't tend to the flock. You... You didn't have care for the flock, man. And you treated the flock like it was shit. Okay? Now, again, this uh, a video is intended to, you know, basically to uh, remind brothers, you know, just in case, like, yo, man, cool, you're doing your videos, but that doesn't make you a man of the Lord, man. Okay? Because essentially, the reason why we do the videos is to, to do what? To feed the flock, to feed the sheep. And again, like I said, that is a major contribution to our salvation. That's why Yahweh Shai told Peter what he said. He said, if you love me, what? Feed my lambs, feed my sheep. And he told him three times. And that's what we're, that's what we're to do. And but also, too, keep in mind, they didn't have the internet back then. So what was he telling Peter to do, essentially? All right, basically get into the mind of the men that are around him, man. And make sure that they're good. Make sure that uh, 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 their minds are fortified. Okay? By the men that are around you. Okay. And another thing is, man, you can, you can't have in your mind to do videos just to save face, or just to say, "Oh, I did my videos, and oh, now I'm good." You know, uh, the apostles and the elders or whoever they're gonna be off my case, or whatever the case is. Or my camp leader, he might not be on me as much, so I'm gonna just do my videos. You know, now nah, you're supposed to do videos to, to cause you, cause the spirit hits you, and you basically have a topic that uh, uh to to help feed the elect. Okay, but like I said, like that's like the scriptures say. Let me get this real quick. This is the book of First John, chapter four and verse twenty. It says, "If a man say I love the Most High, right? Because remember the scriptures tell you, if you love me, feed my sheep, and that's what we have in our mind that we've been doing the videos that we're feeding the sheep and we're showing forth our love, right? And the hate of his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love the Most High whom he hath not seen, man?" Okay? If you ain't taking care of the, the, the flock, if you ain't tending to the brotherhood, then you're missing out on the major task at hand. All right? The Most High established a body, man. Okay? Every church, every camp is an individual body. And the body must need to be taken care of. All right? First, man. First. Okay? And I'll prove that with the scriptures. Okay? Because you can't jump up, oh, I'm going to do video, do video, do videos. 
right? Which that, that's cool. Like I said, I'm not knocking doing videos. I'm I can never knock doing videos, man. You know, but what about your brother, man? Okay, what what about the man that's that's uh, uh, hurting in the spirit? You know, that's going through whatever trials and tribulation that he's going through. Or uh, uh, what about the men that are coming up under you that you got to groom? Okay, that you're supposed to be tending to. There's plenty of scriptures. We bring the scriptures out all the time in, in Proverbs. Okay? Matter of, you know what? I need to get that. But in, but first, let me get this. Um. Yeah, let me get this. This is Matthew chapter 5, and I'll start at verse 23. It says, therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, right, because we always talk about how... um. The mazabak, which means the altar. When you break down the word ma, meaning of or from, zabak meaning sacrifice. So of the sacrifice. So when, as we speak these words, doing videos is also considered what? You're basically setting up a little altar. Because you, you, you're bringing forth the words of sacrifice. You're bringing forth, you, you, uh, 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 you, uh, uh, creating that sweet savior. Okay? Which, you, which are these words. Okay? So it says, it, therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, remember, because you, look, I'm about to uh, serve the Lord. I'm about to, you know, uh, 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 I'm about to please the Lord. I'm bringing, I'm bringing my gift to the altar, right? And there remembers that thy brother have ought against thee. You know what? You and a, a brother got uh, a quarrel. You know, it doesn't even have to be a quarrel. Look, man, you got certain situations where, you know, uh, maybe a brother needs you. But you over there in La La Land pretty much. Or whatever the case is, but because you did your videos during the week, you good. That's why, hey man, <laughs> I heard a lot of uh, uh, the, uh, the elders, right? It said this internet is a demon, man. You know, because this internet has people believing high upon themselves because you got views, you got followers, you got subscribers. You know, that's why a lot of people in this world they they're built up with that pump. The scriptures tell you in the, in the last days many shall be lovers of themselves. Why? Because they got subscribers, they got viewers, you know? They got people that like their videos, okay? And I'm talking about men and the truth as well, man. I won't be surprised a lot of people that, you know, not for nothing, you know, it is what it is, man. A lot of people that, you know, they may get a lot of views and they may, oh, he on fire, he on fire, you know? He doing a lot of videos, but then, you know, motherfucker might not make it on the chariot, man, you know? Not can think of an individual right now that is well known off the rip, just violated brothers, right? But that individual's doing all kind of videos and out on the highways and the hedges, you know? And in that individual's mind, oh, the Lord dealing with me. Nah, I, man, listen, man. You hate your brother, man. There's no way that you're showing love to your Hawabah Shem Yahushai. The flock, rep the, the, the body represents your Yahushai. So you ain't tending to the body, man. What good are you? But because you got the fame and your, your name is noised abroad, you know, you you uh 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 uh, uh, uh what they call it, uh, 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 not a psychopath, but a, a, a person that basically tells himself lies and just constantly believes that shit. I forget what it's called. It was just brought to my attention of what that word is. You know, you just constantly telling yourself that. You a man of the Lord, you a man of the Lord, but you ain't doing none of the attributes that what Yahweh Shai would be doing if he was on the scene. Okay? So it says, leave there thy gift before the altar, meaning what? Don't even go to the altar, man. All right? Don't even make the sacrifice and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, meaning what? Make back friends, man. That's what the Most High loves. All right? The Most High, oh, 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 that's uh, Sirach 25, man. All right? Let me get that real quick and I'm going to come back. Okay? Let me get it. This is uh, Sirach or uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. All right? 25 and verse 1. And three things I was beautified and stood up both up, stood up be be beautiful both before the Most High and men. The unity of brethren the love of neighbors and a man and wife that agree together. You see? And that's one of the things that the Most High loves, man. That's also what? In, in Psalms 133? Okay, we can get that. All right? These are the, these are, these are the things that are pleasant unto Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. 
You know, and that's why it was it's a curse unto us to, to have an evil eye towards towards your brother, man. All right. This is Psalms 133. And uh, one, a song of decrees. Behold, how good and pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon Aaron's beard, even Aaron's beard. That went down to the skirts of his garment. All right. So that's what the Most High is liking. Brotherhood, man. Okay. Meaning the man that's next to you. Man may live uh, half a mile away from you, man. You just uh, uh, forgot about the man. He, you know, he don't even exist. He's not even on your radar. But you, oh, I got to do my videos. I got to do my videos. I can't, I can't stress it enough. There's nothing wrong with doing your videos. But your priorities is your priorities. And I just read in the scripture, we can actually go back. Okay, Matthew 5 and 24. Leave them thy gift before the altar and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy gift. You see, there's an order to brotherhood. There's an order in how to deal with things. You're supposed to make art with your brother. You're supposed to, you're supposed to be taking care of the flock in which the, what's in your hand already. Okay, and the scriptures also tell you. Um, let me get it. This is uh Matthew 7, and uh, start at verse 1 Judge not that ye be not judged, right? For with that judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with that measure ye meet, it shall be measured unto you again. And why beholdest the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thy own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote out of thine eye? And behold, a beam is in, from in thine own eye. Right. And that beam is, is talking about a, a, a bigger piece of the, the branch, if you will. Okay. Here it is. You got a, a situation going on between you and another man that, you're, that you know. You got his number. You know his government. You know? You know where he lived. You met his moms. You met his father, maybe. Whatever the case is, you know this man personally. But that man is put to the side. All right? And you want to give a lesson to other men about uh, 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 whatever the situation is, man. Nothing. I'm not thinking of nothing in particular. There's nothing in particular that's coming to my mind. But the concept of not dealing with the man that's in front of you is a, is a huge thing. All right, a lot of men. I'm gonna be real, man. A lot of I could, I put it like this. A lot of men do videos just to save face, man. Just to say I did videos. Oh, I got my videos out the way. Oh, I'm good. I'm all right. My week is good. There's all kind of manners and things that you gotta go through in the truth, besides just the videos. Okay. It says what, or oh, that's the point on that. All right. Then you got circumstances, all right, where I'll say in certain instances, not all, but where, you know, the apostle, the elder come around, everybody, oh, jumping up for joy, this, that, and third. Oh, that's when my, that's when do one come out. That's when we come around now. Apostles and the elders is around. When the top dogs come around, and that's when the dude want to come around, right? But when it comes to a brother that's faithful and is next to you, or you just, ah, whatever, I'll see him later, you know? It's not that big of a deal to you, all right? But there's temperance in the body, man. Everybody, every part of the body plays its part, okay? And, and in fact, this is what the scriptures say, right? It says, I'll start at verse 21, 1 Corinthians 12 and 21. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, right? Because your eye is obviously more valuable than your hand, okay? Nor again to the head, to the feet, I have no need of you. Right, because the head is more valuable than to the, to the feet, which they play a uh, bigger parts. I'll say I shouldn't even say more valuable. They eat, every piece needs one another. It all works in tang intangible, man. It all works in unison. It's uniform. Okay, so I shouldn't say it's greater value. One plays a bigger part. Okay. Now it says here, nay, 
much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, we think to be less honorable, okay? It says, upon these we bestow more abundant honor. Meaning a man that's quiet, he's not necessarily on the forefront, you should be tended to that man more. Okay, and when you got a, a stronger a man, you got a stronger soldier that can he could basically fend for himself. He can take care of himself. But then you have a, a feeble member of the body that needs more nurturing, that needs more care. You're supposed to be checking in with that man on a consistent basis, man. All right, not to the point where you babysitting or nothing like that, but you make sure your brother's good, man. All right. It says, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness meaning what the, the the parts of the body that don't seem to be get the most shine okay like i said when apostle just giving a, 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 a an analogy a elder come around head of the camp man of rank that's well renowned in the camp oh everybody oh we're gonna come through we're gonna oh we about to kick it with him you know this that and the third we're gonna kick it with him but then you got a man that you know not necessarily has that same clout you don't give that same honor to. Well, the scriptures tell you you're supposed to bestow that man even more honor. Okay? For our comely parts have no need. <laughs> See? Our comely parts don't have no need. There's no need to tend to a, a man that's like that in, in particular. All right? That that's uh that has more that has more honor, right? He says, but the most high tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to the part which lacked. You see? Because the word honor, when you go into it, the Hebrew word is kabod. The word kabod means what? To be heavy. Okay? So when, when you put the two on the scale, one outweighs the other. And the scriptures is telling you the uncomely parts weigh more than the comely. When it comes to, uh, 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 as the scriptures is going to tell you, I don't think I, yeah, yeah, as it's going to tell you, it says what? That there should be no schisms in the body. Meaning what? If I'm not mistaken, that word deals with... Let me just get it. Schisma. Right? I lost it. Bear with me a second. I'll close up shortly. Division or dissension. You see? Why? Because you, you never know what's going through a man's mind, man. You start murmuring in their head, start getting evil thoughts in their head, start thinking negative towards a brother. You're supposed to check on a brother, man. You know, get into his mind, man. I keep saying that. I'm going to get that scripture and I'm going to close on that. All right? He said that, be, that there should be no schisms in the body, but that the members should have the same care one of another, man. Okay, and whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Okay, all for one and one for all kind of ordeal, man. Okay, remember Yahweh Shah is with the leopards and the lames. Okay, he was with those that were um maimed. Okay, uh, he was uh, there was one uh man that lacked uh, stature. And that was a, 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 a mockery in the ancient world to lack stature. That man, a man that lacked stature couldn't come to the temple. A man that was maimed couldn't come to the temple. A leopard damn sure couldn't come to the temple. But Yahweh Shah was around those individuals. The one, the ones that were being shunned upon. All right? So, I want to close on the book of Proverbs. All right? Uh, give me one second. I'm not sure the exact address of the scripture. I know the words, though. All right, this is uh, the book of Proverbs. Sorry, bear with me. Let me see. Diligent. Proverbs 27 and 23. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks and look well to thy herds 
When you, let's go into some of these words real quick and I'm going to close out. Right? It says, be thou diligent, right? To know you die, right? The state, the state, the word state there is punyum, which punyum, which means the face or his countenance. And the countenance show forth what? The man's spirit. Okay? And the spirit lies where? In the mind. That's why when it says what? The state of thy flocks and look well, when the word therefore well is lob. Okay? So you're supposed to get all into the mind of a man, man. All right? To help build a man's spirit up one way, shape, or another, especially your, your, your up and coming officers in the camp. You ain't supposed to just uh, let them astray, just uh, let them figure it out for themselves, man. Nah, man. You, these men got to get built up, man. We coming out of the world. You know, you don't know things. You don't know better. You know, on certain manners and certain matters, and then things get festered, certain things happen, especially as camps become bigger. You know, things are going to happen down the, the chain of command. And it's like, damn, you don't even know what's going on because what? You ain't check in with the, you ain't you ain't checking in with your flock, man. You ain't checking in with in with the men that assigned to you, man. And we all got men that's assigned to us, man. Okay. Everybody has a man assigned to them, one way, shape, or another, man. Okay. Yeah, it says look well or look into the mind of thy of thy herd, man. Okay, Idar, that word there, flock, herd, right, because like I said, we're pastors, man, okay, a pastor is a person that tends to the flock, which comes from the word pastures, man, all right, so you got it misconstrued, if you think, because you did doing your videos, you go out to the highways and the hedges, that that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is pleased with you, although you shunning the man that's next to you, and you disannulling the man that's next to you. All right, you got your priorities out of order, man. Call Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kakudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, man. Shalom, La Bakari, and peace to the elect. Shalom.